We're learning how to read one word at a time, and today we're looking at this word. We're going to start by identifying the vowel sounds, because if you can read the vowels, you can read the word. In this word, there are two vowel sounds, this E and the I. So now we have to determine what sound they're each going to make. We do that by what I call the tap two rule, which is when you look at the next two letters. If one of those next two letters is another vowel, then the vowel that you are on will probably say its name or make its long sound. So if we look at this E, yes, there is a vowel in the next one or two spots. So yes, that E is going to say its name or make its long sound. So it's going to say E. This I does not have another vowel in the next one or two spots, so it's not going to say its name. It's going to say its regular short sound, I. Now what about this C? C has two sounds. It can make its hard sound, k, which it does usually, or its soft sound, s, which it will only do if the very next letter is an E, I, or Y. We do have an E, I, or Y right after it, so it is going to make its soft sound and say s. So now that we know all of the sounds in this word, we're going to dot each sound. We'll place a dot underneath each sound, which gets it all organized and in order in our mind. That looks like this. R, E, S, I, N, D. Now we're ready to connect the sounds while we connect the dots. The line represents the sound, so there's no stopping with our pen or our voice. That looks like this. Rescind. Rescind. Now, if you know what rescind means, please put that in the comments. And if you found that reading this word was easier after I told you what was happening inside of it, let me know below.